So in this video, we are going to learn how to add new leads from Facebook lead ads to Pipedrive. Let's say to market your business and generate some new leads, you are running some Facebook ads and you want to add those leads in your Pipedrive CRM. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. In this automation, whenever a new lead will be generated in Facebook lead ads, automatically with the same details, we are going to add this lead in our Pipedrive CRM. Now, if you want to learn how you can set up this kind of automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Facebook page named as Green Pro Landscaping. And I'm running some ads on this Facebook page to generate some new leads. Now, I want that whenever a new lead is generated using the Facebook lead ads, I want to add the same leads in my Pipedrive CRM as well. Now, to do this, we are going to connect our Facebook lead ads account, our Facebook account with Pipedrive. And we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Public Connect to do so. So to access Public Connect, we will just go to a new tab in our browser and we will search for pavli.com slash connect. And here you can see we are on the landing page of Pavli Connect. After coming to the landing page, here you can see two options. First one is sign in and second one is sign up for free. So if you are new to Pabli, you can just click on sign up for free and create your free Pabli account in just two minutes. Or if you are an existing Pabli user, just click on sign in. So I will just click on to sign in and access my Pabli account. After signing in, we will reach to all apps page of Pabli. And here we just have to click on access now below Pabli Connect. And as you click on access now, we will reach to Pabli Connect dashboard. After coming to this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow over here. For that, just click on create workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I would like to name my workflow as Facebook lead ads to pipe drive. Then after that, just select the folder of your public account in which you want to create the automation and click on create. Now, as we click on create, you will see the automation workflow will open in front of us. And in this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with the trigger window. Now the idea here is first we are going to connect our Facebook lead ads account with Pavli Connect in the trigger step. So that whenever a new lead is generated in Facebook lead ads, automatically the details of that new lead will be captured inside Pavli Connect and this automation workflow will trigger. It will start. Then after that, using this Pavli Connect automation, we are going to send the details of that new lead to Pipedrive and we are going to add that lead in our Pipedrive CRM as well. So let's see how it is done. Starting from the trigger window in Choose App for search for Facebook lead ads. Just select it. After selecting Facebook lead ads in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new lead instant. After selecting our trigger event, what we have to do? We have to connect our Facebook account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect button and select add new connection. And after that, just click on connect with Facebook lead ads. Now, because I have already logged into my Facebook account in my browser, Pavli Connect will detect the same account and make the connection over here. After making the connection, the next thing it asks is, is the page. So here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the pages which we have created in our Facebook account. Out of all of this, the new lead from which particular page you want to capture, on which page you are running some ads, you have to select that. So the name of my Facebook page is Green Pro Landscaping. So I'm going to search for the same page over here and just select it. After selecting the Facebook page, it is asking us lead gen form. And here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the lead gen forms which we have created for this particular Facebook page. Now, if you want to add the leads from some specific lead gen form from Facebook lead ads to pipe drive, you have to select that particular form. But if you want to add the lead from all the lead gen form which you have created for this Facebook page, in that case, you can select this option of all lead gen form. By selecting this option, Pavli Connect will capture the lead from all the lead gen form which we have and send them to Pipedrive using this automation workflow. After selecting the lead gen form, just click on save and send test request. And when we click on save and send test request, here you can see it has now changed to waiting for webhook response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some response of a new lead from Facebook lead ads. 
So what you can do, if you are having an active ad campaign using which you are getting some new lead, you can just wait to capture a new lead. But if you don't want to wait, you can use this Facebook lead ad testing tool, Meta lead ad testing tool to generate some test lead as well. Now, if you want to learn how you can access this lead ad testing tool and using this, how you can generate some test lead for that, we already have a dedicated video live on the channel. You can refer to that video and learn more about the lead ad testing tool. But after accessing the lead ad testing tool here from this drop down, we have to select our Facebook page and then we have to select the lead gen form in which we want to generate a new lead. After selecting it, just click on this preview form button. And after that, here you can see our lead gen form is open in front of us in preview mode. Now here in this lead gen form, we are going to enter the details of a test lead, a dummy lead. Let's see the name of this lead is demo test. This is the name. The email address is this. And this is the dummy mobile number which we are entering. After entering the details of a dummy lead, just click on next and click on submit. So as we click on submit here, you can see just now we have generated a new lead, a test lead in our Facebook lead ads account. Basically, we have generated a test lead over here for our Facebook ads. And because we have connected our Facebook account with Pabli Connect, we will see in our Pabli Connect workflow in this trigger step, within few seconds, we have received the response. And in this response, you can see the details of the same lead. We have the same name demo test, we have the same email, and also the same mobile number which we have just now entered in this lead ad testing tool. This means the details of the new lead from Facebook lead ads is captured inside Pavli Connect and the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now after this, let's move to step two. And in step two, we want to send the details of this new lead to Pipedrive CRM. And we want to add this lead in Pipedrive. For that, we will just scroll down and come to this action step. And here in Choose app, we will search for Pipedrive. Just select it. After selecting Pipedrive in action event from the drop down, first we have to select this option of create a person. So before creating a lead in Pipedrive, first we have to add this user as a person in our Pipedrive CRM. And after adding this user as a person, as a people in Pipedrive CRM, then we can move that person as a lead in Pipedrive. So what we are going to do, first we are going to select this option or this action event of create a person. After selecting this action event, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Pipedrive account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API token of Pipedrive. Now you must be thinking how we can get the API token of our Pipedrive account. For that, we will just go to our Pipedrive account and from the right top corner, click on this profile option and go to personal preferences. Under personal preferences, here you can see this option of API, just select it. And you can see the API token of your Pipedrive account. Just copy the API token from here and then paste it over here in this connection window inside Pavli Connect. And after entering the API token, just click on save. And as we click on save, we will see our Pipedrive account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the name. That what is the name of this new person which we want to add in Pipedrive. So we have received the details like name, email and mobile number of a new lead from Facebook lead ads in the trigger step. So what we have to do, we have to send the responses of this name, email and mobile number from this trigger step of Facebook lead ads to this pipe drive action step. And we are going to use the process of mapping to map or send the data from the previous step to the next step. And the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field of name and here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Facebook lead ads of a new lead. Out of all of these responses, we are going to select the response of first name and it will be mapped. Then after that, we will just add a space and then we are going to map the response of last name as well. In this way, we have basically mapped the responses from the previous step to this pipe drive action step. After mapping the name, it is asking us for the label. And in the drop down, we have some options, customer, hot lead, farm lead, and cold lead. Let's say I want to add the label as hot lead. You can basically select any label of your choice. Then it is asking us for the phone number. So we have received the phone number as well. And we will be using the process of mapping once again. Just click here and from the drop down, select and map the response of phone number and the response of email in the next field. 
then it is asking us for the organization and owner. So we don't have the details related to the organization which we want to associate this lead, this person in our Pipedrive CRM. So we are going to just ignore these two fields for now. In visibility, from the drop down, you can select any visibility of your choice. Let's say I want to select the visibility as item owner. Only the item owner, the person or the lead owner will be able to view the lead. From this drop down, you can select any other option of your choice. Then it is asking us for the first name and last name. So we have separate responses from first name and last name from Facebook lead ads. So we are going to map it as well. And after mapping all the details and selecting all the options, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that demo test, the same lead which we have generated using Facebook lead ad testing tool, the same lead which we have received in Facebook lead ads, is now added as a person in our Pipedrive account. So let's check it. We will go to a Pipedrive account and from the left sidebar, we will go to contacts. And yes, here you can see demo test. The same person is now added in our Pipedrive CRM now. Here you can see the same name, we have the same email and the same mobile number. So the step two of setting up this automation is also completed where we have added this new lead as a person in Pipedrive. Now what we want to do, we want to add this person in Pipedrive as a lead as well. So from this person, from the people section, we have to move this person, this demo test to the lead section of Pipedrive. And to add this same person as a lead, we will just click on this add action step button in our automation workflow. And here in choose app, once again, we will search for Pipedrive. Just select it. After selecting pipe drive, an action event from the drop down, select the action event as create lead. Then just click on connect. And because we have connected our pipe drive account with Pabli Connect in the previous step, we don't have to make a new connection. You can select the existing connection and click on save. After clicking on save, we will see once again our pipe drive account will get connected with Pabli Connect. And after making this connection, it is asking us for the lead name. That what is the name of this lead to whom we want to move over here. So the name of the lead is received over here. So from the drop down from pipe drive responses after creating a person, we have received the details. We have received some responses. So from these responses, we are going to select the response of lead name and we are going to map it. Then it is asking us for the owner ID that who will be the owner of this lead. So right now I have only one person demo user and that user, that person will be the owner of this lead. Now, if you want to change the owner, if you want to assign the new lead to some other team members of yours who is with you on your Pipedrive account, from this drop down, you can select the owner as well. Then after that, it is asking us for the organization ID or person ID. So we have to basically associate, we have to basically connect this lead with some organization or with some person. But here we don't have the details of the organization or the person. So what we can do in the previous step, we have created the same lead as a person. And we are going to associate this lead with the same person. And we have to select any one option between organization ID or person ID. So we are going to use the option of person ID. Now here in organization ID, we will just turn this mapping button on and clear the default response. We are going to keep this field as blank. And in person ID, we will turn the mapping button on, clear the default response and map the person ID over here. So after creating the person in the previous step in pipe drive, we have received this response of data ID. So from the drop down, we are going to map this response of data ID in this person ID field. After mapping the person ID to with whom we want to associate this lead, it is asking us for the label. Let's say I want to select the label as hot lead and then it is asking us lead value, lead value currency, expected close date and some other details. So from Facebook lead ads, we haven't received all of these details. So we are just going to ignore these fields for now. We are just going to keep these fields as blank. And after mapping all the details and selecting the person, we will just scroll down and click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that with this name, a new lead is created in our Pipedrive CRM. And this newly generated lead is associated with the same person with the same lead which we have created as a person before this step means the same lead which we have received from facebook lead ads so let's check it we will go to a pipe drive account and we will just refresh this leads page once 
And yes, here you can see demo test. The same post and the same lead which we have generated using Facebook lead ads is now also added as a lead in our Pipedrive CRM. And this lead is associated with the same person. This means the automation workflow which we have created using Pavli Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. Now, after setting up this automation, we are going to test this automation workflow once. For that, we will just go back to our Facebook lead ad testing tool and we are going to generate another test lead over here. For that, let's click on this preview. And then here we are going to enter the details of a new lead. For example, the name of the new lead is test user. This is the name. This is the email address. And after that, this is the mobile number or dummy mobile number. Now let's click on next and click on submit. So as you can see just now using this lead ad testing tool, we have generated another test lead. After generating another test lead, we will see within few seconds, this same lead will be added in Pipedrive CRM. So we will go to Pipedrive and we will just refresh this leads page once again. And yes, here you can see test user, the same lead is now added in our Pipedrive account. And this lead is associated with the same person. So first we have added our Facebook lead as a person in our Pipedrive account. And after that, we have created a new lead associated with that person over here. We have the same name, same email and same mobile number. This means the automation workflow which we have created using Pavli Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same automation workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can email us at support at or post it on our forum over here. Or you can write us in the comment box below too. If you want to check out the pricing of Pavli Connect, you can visit this link. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Pavli. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.